Welcome and welcome to this new basic Excel course my name is Miguel Vela and you are in the of the Uncle Tech today we are going to start from the most basic step by step from zero so that can understand everything you can do with Excel and at the same time master it okay the objectives of First session is the introduction to Excel OK we are basically talking about basic concepts we are. To show you the options tapes in Excel and at the same time also play a little with what would come. Be this create a new document open close and at the same time already being in Excel insert. Functions OK learn to give formats different types of formats to the cells in Excel both insert. How to insert texts to the cell and insert functions in Excel and at the same time we are going to. A series a series of examples so that you can practice it so that you can master it perfectly with. Basic Excel course OK so let's start first with the concepts and the first thing we would ask. Is what is Excel OK Excel basically in its own terms is a program that allows you to perform. Functions OK whether it is accounting and financial tasks, thanks to all the functions obviously, are already developed specifically to help you and create and work obviously in the Excel. Okay, so let's start with this, but don't forget everything you can do with Excel okay we can create. And make static or dynamic statistics while well, you can make calendars you can also make a schedule. List of tasks list of what to do is to distribute tasks keep a time record you can also make. You can manage if you have a hotel business restaurant this is an accounting studio everything that. To mind is what you can do in Excel okay for me it is a very powerful tool but be careful it is very. To use when someone knows how to explain well so let's start with this and the first thing we have. Have obviously is to install our Excel in case we already have it installed we are going to look in. Desktop the next icon OK this is the Excel icon we can open it by double clicking that would be the way OK however in case you do not have this Excel icon in your desktop we can also go to the left. Here I want you to observe it from your windows OK here it says right here to search here we simply Excel and I want you to observe that this icon will automatically appear to you that says Excel A. Here and we can also open our Excel through the search engine, however, there is also a third way. You do not manage to open your Excel how we can do that here I have a small keyboard I want you to. It there is my keyboard and we are going to press the Windows key that is this key I am going to. A little this the Windows key here we have it and without releasing this Windows key we are going. Press the R key OK Windows R and we are going to get the following result is this is this search. OK this window to run programs here we are going to write Excel you can write it in capital letters. You can write it in lowercase just accept it and we already have the program opening and it did not. Faster no there we have it this is the first the first presentation of our Excel spreadsheet I want. To observe that in the left side in the green area we have here the last documents Excel documents. Have been used obviously if it is that you have not previously used Excel here nothing is going to. In my case as you can see I use it very very often and I have all the last documents that I have. And opened I do not want you to also observe that in all this gray area it could be a little lead. We have more options we have options for example we give the welcome to Excel dynamic table. Get more table games all these are you could say some tutorials that Excel itself offers you and. We also have templates not particularly I recommend that you do not open any of these documents. They are simply examples okay they are examples that could be taken well but I tell you that in all. Experience in Excel I have never taken one of these of these of these templates in Excel it could. 
said not the only option that we are going to use is to go to the blank book that is the first one. Appears in the upper left here it says blank book we click there and I want you to observe that the presentation appears to work already in your Excel spreadsheet OK like everything program when we for the first time we always have a series of options and how that intimidates us a little when we many alternatives not as we are observing now and we do not know where to start I will tell you so. These are the tools that you have are very similar to that of world that is, they are going to. Familiar, sorry quickly, not now, we are going to start from the beginning, which would be the. Of files, here in the upper left file if we give it a click I want you to observe that we have all. Options to create, save this and print our document in Excel we do not have the first option that. New if we click on new this template reappears and if we give it again in the blank book I want you. Observe that we already had two documents this is simply to create a new document as its same name. It is not for that the new option is useful after that we have here the option to open if we click. Open I want you to observe that this presentation comes out obviously as in all the office. The last open documents appear on the right we can also look here to examine some document if it is. The office if it is in good some of its partitions of its local disk this is not for that the. To open if you want to open some document after that we have the option to save and the option to. As I is not the same okay the save is when the document is already saved simply by clicking here in. It is automatically saved without asking you the name OK the opposite happens with the save as not. Save as basically asks you for another name and if the document is already saved it is very likely. You save two documents with the same name we are not going to save it and we are going to choose A. OK for which I am going to create a folder here and I am going to put a course we are going to. A folder that the right click new folder and we are going to put here Excel course OK basic course. Excel to 2019 here we are going to save the Excel you already know how to save examine and we are. To look for it on the desktop I have it on the desktop we click here and we give it on the desktop. Look for the folder that we have just created I want you to observe it because it must be. And it is a basic course of Excel here it is a basic course of Excel twice click and we save it I. You to see the extension the extension is point .xlsx we save it and we already have our document. Which if we go and we always save it, this is already saved with a name, it is not for that reason. It does not ask us what name to save things and we give it to save as it asks us again where we. To save it and as the last option we have the option to print here we are going to print a document. What this video is going through in the last part we are going to teach is the correct way so that. Can print a document in Excel either with very wide tables or very extensive tables well and this. Below we have share export publish not this basically they are with the accounts with the Microsoft. For office so that you can upload certain documents to the cloud you can share it with your. Which as we are starting I do not recommend them ok so we save and we are going to get involved. The Excel interface as we can see here we have it could be set a grid not these grids correspond. 
have rectangles that are known as cells I want you to observe all if we click anywhere they are the that we select OK for example if we select a cell either any cell this cell is comprised of two. It could be said no one is the column that we are observing here all these columns and then all the. I do not want them to observe something very particular the columns are always understood by A. No either A B C D F G and until the last and the numbers also that would come to be the rows that are. This part not all these are the rows and they are represented by numbers if we select here the C. C and row 4 we are talking about nothing more and nothing less than the cell C4 if we can observe. In this part that says C4 it would come to be the name box if we select any other cell. This is updated if we select a data range we can apply a name and beyond that we can call that name. Already to the set or to the data range that we are selecting I that we will see later OK if we. Down a little I want you to observe that here it says Sheet 1 Excel basically works for Sheets OK. We are observing here is a book is a book and its sheets are in this part and we can create it OK. Is the same as if we were grabbing a book this is Sheet 1 Sheet 2 Sheet 3 and Sheet for everything. Do here will not be reflected in sheet 2 but I but these sheets will always be intercommunicated. They will always be synchronized and they will work if in case you want it that way in a way in a synchronized way as I just told you not after that I want you to observe if we continue to. A number of sheets and here we have the navigation buttons. I want you to observe it here are two buttons it is lead color they are not activated because the of sheets has not yet exceeded the space that allows it, for example, many times that the name that put on each sheet is very large and with two or three sheets this space is already filled and we going to have it in the following way, I do not know, we check this a little, I will shrink it so. You can see there it is there I activate the sheet there it is you can observe here it is already. We do not make a click and this is changing sheets for this they serve the navigation buttons. If we go a little to the right I want you to observe that here are basically the displacement bars. Have the horizontal displacement bars there it is we can observe it and the vertical displacement. That is here to the right ok we are going to leave it there we are going to return to the first. And I want you to observe how many rows we have as we can see the rows we are going to press the key I am going to return forgiveness this from scratch so that you can see it well well we are. To press the control key and the arrow key down ok there it is I am going to bring the control key. Little closer and we press the arrow down and we are going to see how many rows the Excel includes. It is we are going to vote exactly to the last row that would be 1,048,576 rows that are Excel. Includes OK we also have here in the upper right part we are going to go up a little where it says. Session this is basically the Microsoft account not an account in office as I had told you so that. Can share information so that you can upload information directly from Excel to the cloud of one. We are not going to touch the topic for now as I had told you this is a topic that I still do not. An account to tell you the truth but previously if I used it but for me it is not still not very. Well here we have the formula bar here we are going to go up sorry with control the arrow up and. We have the formula bar here we are going to put other formulas according to the selected cell OK.
We are going to touch the examples but it is good to mention we select them for example any cell. We are located here and we can put a formula or a function to this cell OK after that I had already. To you that here are the options tape you can observe them start insert page design of data. Review view and more series of options OK I want you to observe that each tab has its group to its. OK as for example we have here the alignment the source the number and we can also observe a small. This icon allows you to display more options if we click it throws us this window and here we have. Series of options that we can try nothing all these options are actually very simple and easy to. OK we are going to close this and as the last option if I am not forgetting something if I forget. We are going to see it later as we have here the view controls or the print controls OK I want you. Observe if we click it it will change this there it is we click here and it will change the. Basically I use this for example here for printing and I am going to show you later how we are. To use the page design is the previous view of the page jump that is for printing and the page. Not to put in as if it were a word to put headers to also put a page foot to put page numbering to. Name document and a series of options well I think that way I am not forgetting anything and if I. It the same we are going to practice later well now we are going to start with what interests us. Most that are with the most basic mathematical operations of Excel OK now we are going to create. First table and use mathematical operations in our Excel spreadsheet to remind you that everything. The Excel that we have open is called or known as the book OK and like every book to remind you. Book has certain sheets not like a notebook that has a lot of sheets so this way the Excel works. Sheets remember that they are located exactly in the lower left part of our Excel we can see that I. Sheet 1 if we wanted to create more sheets simply a click on the more new sheet notice that I am. Creating more sheets and I had told you that each sheet is independent but independent for example. We enter any data here notice I am going to enter this and I am going to sheet 2 and it is no. Ok everything you do here will not appear in sheet 2 or sheet 3 but be careful if they are related. If we can use the data that are already in sheet 1 sheet 2 or 3 or 4 and little by little we will. It well if we wanted to delete a sheet just right click and delete notice how it is being deleted. Click delete right click delete and right click delete OK of these sheets we are going to create. 1 2 3 more sheets OK we are going to change name for example how we can do that right click change. I am going to put for example here database to this right click change a name I am going to put. 1 OK to the sheet 8 that is with the name that automatically considers me the Excel right click. Name example 2 and if you want to do it faster where is click 1 2 and so simple OK example 3 once. Have in the name we want this for our, our Excel book we can also change the label OK the color of. Label of these sheets how do we do that right click label color and we can put for example a color. Highlights yellow right click label color we are going to put blue or light blue right click label. We can put any color it is simply so that you can see OK and in this way we can customize our. Not our sheets where we are going to work and not only that we can also copy let's suppose that. We have a series of data here in the database but we want to take.
to another book, to a new book, or we want to copy it we can move everything, remove everything and it to another book from scratch with right click, move or copy, it says here, ok we click it, and that here it says move selected pages in this case it is database or we can also choose the page we to move we are going to move this database, but to a new book that is, to a new document in Excel. Scratch we click here and we click on accept notice that automatically I already have two books in. This is the one I just created and notice that it has only been created with, well, this page has. Moved in here in book one, this page no longer exists, it is no longer there we realize, yes, we. To return it again we do the same step, right click, move or copy and we take it back to book one. Book one says, this is how book one says, because we have not saved it yet we do not give it a name. If we give it a name when saving, its name will appear here, okay? Book one, and we accept and with. We return it to its place, right? There it is, again with the other pages. Well, so far, there we can copy, we can delete we can change the label color, the name color. Another faculty that we can do here is, I was forgetting we can hide, right? Right click, hide. Click, hide, right click, hide OK, and with that, notice that I no longer have more pages, right? They have been removed but with a right click, show and selecting only the hidden pages we give it. Accept, right click, show there it is, example 2, right click, show we only show the pages that we. OK. And accept and with that we already have our pages back in X well, now we are going to move on. What interests us the most we are going to put into practice the input of data, OK. The input of. And some mathematical operations or all the mathematical operations that can be done in Excel, OK. Start with that, let's create a table I want you to observe let's put, for example, anything, OK? Input of data, we are located in the cell that we want we can zoom in a little here, if the view is far here in the plus, let's give it a click, plus, there it is and now yes, do you realize how this is? And here we can put, for example, let's put a name, OK? Let's make a small table, let's Name, this last name here we are going to put age and sex, okay? So simple let's put about five names. Example, I'm going to put Miguel, Julio, Martin we are going to put Marcos and Jose, okay? Nicknames. Are going to invent any we are going to put Perez, Sanchez, Olort what else can we put? We are. To put Bella and we are going to put Riadi over here, okay? The ages, you know, any age we are going. Put 18, 19, 20, 22, and 20, OK? The sex, we are going to put man, all these are men and so on, OK? As you can see, just click on any of these cells and automatically we can write either numbers or With our keyboard, OK? So simple to highlight more or stylize more you could say, put more style to. Table we are going to select the entire table how do we select? We are located in the first cell. We simply drag the mouse down to the right and down, OK? Until we have everything selected we are. To use the first tool if we go here in the Start tab there are these very common tools that we have. We can see these tools both in Word documents in PowerPoint documents or in any other document. It is number editing, letter editing or whatever even graphic design here we have the highlighter. The edges of the table if we select, for example, Thick outer edges I want you to see what happens. The edges are selected we select all this again and we click here and here it says all edges this. What is normally used all edges, 
There it is all edges notice that it selects all edges after that. Have one more option if we go, for example, to view I do not tell you that this is essential or. They use it but sometimes it works if we go to view and we remove grid lines notice that it only. Or only shows me the cells painted the edges and no longer shows me everything but as we are just. I think this should be activated to have a better reference when we select a cell now yes after. We go back to the start tab and we can give a color to this if we select all this this header what. Above is always called header or the titles of each column in this case we are going to select all. And we are going to put a color here is the bucket you can put any color you want with the bucket. It is notice we are going to put a yellow and you can put black black cursive there it is this. And at the same time also underlined and you can enlarge the text here we enlarge notice with this. Enlarge the text with the A and with the side we go down a little OK and with this tool we change. Color of the text as you can see it is nothing nothing from the other world it is very similar to. The tools or all the programs that we have used and you know here here is the alignment to the. For example. I'm going to pull this down a little more look at the width of the header how it changes if I give. Here. I select all this to the center there it is down to the center and up OK I'm going to put it here. Here it is this is vertical alignment and this is horizontal alignment and in this way we already. Both vertical as horizontally horizontally in the center the same we can do with this here and here. We have everything in the center you can observe that these tools are very simple well you can try. By one here is the type of letter and the size also if you want to give it exactly well so far. I think that it is very easy to intuit and realize just by looking at the icon now where I want it. Get is that here we can also insert new rows for example if I wanted to insert a row exactly. The 14th and the 15th. I sit in row 15 and I right click insert notice that a row appears to me exactly it could be said. July if I. I sit in Miguel it could be said that a space or a cell above is that a row will be created notice. Click insert and I take the value or the format of the header no but this is easy we simply select. The bucket and we give it here where it says without filling ok without filling and that way we. The background color of the header if I wanted to insert for example a row between the 19th and the. I sit in the 20th in the highest and I right click insert notice that I already have an empty row. An empty row here and another empty row here ok just right click to delete and give here where it. Delete OK as well as inserted there is also delete we delete we delete and we delete OK this. Rows at the moment we are going to want insert new data new new records and that's why we must know. To insert rows the same happens the same absolutely the same happens with the columns no if we give. Right click for example in column C. I'm going to insert to the left OK insert and I already have here OK if I go to for example age OK. And so successively in sex insert and I insert the row but to the left side of the selection OK to. Left side of the selection as we eliminate in the same way right click delete right click delete. 
Click delete OK so simple and so easy now now we are going to learn how to order our data in an way. We can choose in words or in numbers. We are going to choose in ascending order the numbers or the ages. But in this case we can observe that it is in ascending order. I'm going to put 25 for example, to disorder it a little. 17 and now I think it is already disordered. Just by selecting this we go to the Start tab. Do not forget, we have to be located in the right tab. We go to the Start tab and to the top right, I want you to observe that here it says Order and. Just by clicking and here it tells me Personalized Order. Or it can also go directly from lower to higher or vice versa. I'm going to put it from lower to higher. I want you to observe and here it says expand the selections. Continue with the current selection. Simply expand the selection. One click, we accept or we give it in order and it already changed me. Be careful, it also changes me with all the data and names. It is not that it only changes the numbers. I want you to observe. I'm going to go back and look how it changes. And there I have it. The lowest age could be said to be Martin or Lordig. Remember this. We bring order again. We select all this. Order. And we are going to give it here on the right. From lower to higher. One click. Let's see what happens. Order. From lower to higher. And expand selection. I do not want to expand the selection. I just give it an order. It already changed me. There it is. Martin or Lordig and so far first. If I wanted to order, for example, in alphabetical order the names. We select all the names. We are going to order. And we give it in order. Now yes. I want you to observe. It already changed me. From A to Z. Or if not the other way around. From Z to A. We want to order alphabetically. From A to Z. One click. A, Z. And we give it in order. And already order me. As you can see here. We can do the same with surnames. Or with any other data that we want. Well. Now yes. Once we know how to enter the data. Which is extremely easy. Just select the cell. And write the number or text that we want. So simple. Well. Now yes. We are going to start perhaps with what interests us the most. Which are the mathematical operations in Excel. As you can see. Here I have the four basic operations of Excel. Which is the sum. In sheet 1. The subtraction. The multiplication. And division. We go first with the sum. As you can see. We have different examples. We are going to use it one by one. Okay. This. We are going to go with the first exercise. Which says add these two cells. I want you to observe. That the value of the cell. With the value 15. It is located exactly in column D and row 7. This. The value 15. It is identified by column and row D7. Likewise with the value 20. We are located in row E. And in the same row 7. As we add. We have two options. You can use either of the two options. You can go directly. To the cell. In this case. What is this cell? Twice click. And put an equal. Always to make a mathematical operation. It gets the same. And we select. The first cell. The 15. The value 15. A click. Notice that already took me. Automatically. Both. The column. As the row. And after that. We put a plus. To add. And we select. The next cell. So simple. And so. Simple. It is to do this. Okay. With an enter. This will have. Basically a value. If we change it. For example. 150. Obviously. That also changes. This is already. Automatic. So simple. And so easy. If we. Would do it again. Twice click. Notice that there. The formula appears to us. Okay. There is the formula. If we do. Double click. Double click. If we do. Double click. We get. The formula. The next way. To do the same. I'm going to eliminate. It is. Situating us. For example. In this cell. Where we want the result. Because actually. This result. We can put it. Where we like. Okay. In any cell. But. 
To keep in order. I'm going to put it again. Here. To the right. I want you to observe. That here is the bar. Here also. The formula bar. With. Select the cell. Here it is. We can observe. The green color. And we go here. It is. Exactly the same. We put an equal. And we select. The first cell. We put the plus. And we select. The second cell. Here. Obviously. I'm also going. I'm already writing. The formula. And up here. Also. I have the formula. In any. Of the two sides. We can use it. Okay. We press. And enter. And we have. The value. To not go. More time. Explaining. About. Mathematical operations. And. To not forget. I want you to observe. If we go. We select. For example. In this case. This cell. And we go. To start. We go. To this general part. Here. We have. A series of formats. We have. Number format. Currency format. Accountability. Dates. Percentages. And everything you want. If. In case. They want coins. If. I put a number. There it is. It appears to me. Point. Zero. Zero. Two. As we are observing. Or. If you want. Without format. General. There are more options. If we go. Here. It says. More formats. Number. And. Here we have. This. Number formats. Accountability. Dates. There are. Different dates. Hours. Percentages. And everything you want. If. I put a number. There it is. Here. We leave the number. Well. Now. If. We already know. The format. Of certain numbers. Or. We can also give. Date format. That we are going to see. Okay. Now. If. We come back. With this. In this case. What is. What we just did. Is. Add. Two cells. But. In a row. Or. Practically. In a column. We do. Practically. The same. Same. We select. Always. The same. I. If. You cannot. The same. I want you to observe. Let's select. This. For example. You cannot. Do anything. Practically. No. If. I put. The same. This. More. This. I'm going to remove. This. I put. The same. I put. The same. Enter. And. Just there. I add. No. We are going to change. We are going to put. Coin. To all. We select. Simply. Enough. Select. All. And put. Coin format. If. So. They want. Coin. No. 15. 20. 35. I will not. No. You want. A. How does. It. Do what. You want. It. Yes. I will. I do. You want. Yes. I will. I do. I'm. Here. I will. I'm. 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 I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. I am. The same thing happens here, we are going to grab and we are going to add this, here I have two. To add, we go with the one that we are learning, we are going to go the same, we grab the first. Plus the second cell plus the third cell plus the fourth cell, we press and enter and automatically.
Already have a sum there, you can see how easy it is to make that sum but nevertheless we can also. Another type of sum. A function for example here we are not going to add I am going to put a little square here now we. Going to add for example all these data but in a faster way we are not going to make the two. Okay this and this here again the same we add this more sorry you have to realize that I write more. It is now if I am going to get a little closer so that we can see this more this more is more this. More there it is and I already have practically all the cells okay I press enter and it has just. We do exactly the same but now with a function this function is called add the functions. Abbreviate you or put you in the shortest path, they are not operations that the same excel already. Them, this can be said to be coded, we do not just have to make the call, for example, we put the. And write add forgiveness add there it is we write add and notice that it opens a parenthesis. This parenthesis I am going to drag all the range of cells that I want, notice that it comes from. Which is 15, up to 2 points, the 18, which is 100, it is not simply enough to close in. And put an entity and I already have exactly the same, we are not going to do it, I am going to. This, I am going to put the same, it was 240, there it is, remember the result of 240, I put the. Some 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 forgiveness I select all this I drag I close and I have to leave 240 no and notice that. Is 240 so fast and simple we go again with this I put the same I put some and I select all this no. It was some it was not to add ok some and I select all this by dragging I close the parenthesis and I. Enter and I already have the sum the same we can do here no this is vertical and back forgiveness. We put the same sum and let's see again I'm going to get a little closer so that you can see it the. I call the sum function sum it always goes away I select sum and drag all this horizontally there. Is and it is not vertical but horizontal I close parentheses and press the enter ok and I already. The total there, not this total, it can have a currency format, it can have a number format or also. You look at it, if I put it on a date, what happens, it does not take me on any date. There it is, but I am going to put a number again and there we have it, okay, 690 well now, here we. One more example. We are going to apply again here we are going to apply the same sum sum we select. This and close ok between we put sum again or if not here as we already have the function inserted. Can drag down notice that we drag down and automatically and to me add everything that has imitated. The first formula not to this I want you to observe it there it is it points to me everything there. Is and there it is the same we do here the same sum forgiveness sum again. I was selected all this we close parentheses and between this I am going to pull to the right ok. There it is you can see that I already have it in a very fast way not all the results if I wanted. Add all these totals again I can also apply a sum there is no problem we apply a sum and we select. The totals are not in between so fast simple or we could also apply the sum but in this case to all. Data not to all these totals according to the days there is no problem and in this way we could add. Value well here it gets a little complicated I want you to observe here it tells us add to a whole. Only the value of the cell and 31 the value of the cell and 31 is 100 we are going to add it here. 
The right okay I am going to paint this we are going to add it here which is what we normally do the. We can put this plus the 100 we do not press enter and so far everything is fine I have just added. First row no but if I drag down look at what is going to happen it practically changes the number. Are going to see what has happened with this 20 knot because the 20 should add to 100 the 15 to 100. 11 to 100 I do twice click and notice that it is adding this cell with this cell we are not going. This cell with this cell if I put here for example a 100 not a thousand I want you to see here it. B1015 it is not because if we drag that will always happen so much it will lower the cells that are selecting and so that the value is static I want you to observe I want you to realize twice. Notice that this row number is being updated because it has dragged us but so that the value is. In this case I am going to double click and I want this value that we have here the 100 that is. In the row and the column in column E and row 31 is static that is, it does not vary when I drag. Click and only the row we are going to put the sign dollar OK to the only row that is the number 31. That 31 does not change I press enter I want you to see that the 31 now is 32 33 34 it changes you. It changes this value that is why I put here ahead the dollar sign and if I am down I want you to. I am going to drag down it already adds me correctly the 10 with the 100 110 the 20 with the 100. The 15 with the 100 115 and now everything is valid if I double click I want you to see that 31 and. Does not vary anymore but here if it varies not because it is going through one by one there it is. Realize the dollar sign is used to set certain values not there it is we are going to go with. Example here we have another small example and it is very similar not but now we are going to make. Some horizontally well here it tells me add a whole row that is all this row to the value of the. H32 this is the H32 ok we put the same we are going to grab the first row and we are going to the. Sign and the second row is not there to which we are going to put now that it is static we are. To press enter ok so far it is adding me well these two if I drag to see what happens to the right. Is to the right I want you to see that it only adds the first one not if I put for example the. Sign at 32 as we did a moment ago again I want you to see what happens this absolutely nothing. Not because absolutely nothing happens because I am dragging from left to right no and when I drag. Left to right that varies the column the HL and the JK the opposite thing happens here not if I. From top to bottom what changes the row because I am not changing the column as it is in this case. I change the column I do not change from left to right and change the column but it no longer. The row they realize the row is there and all this changes not only the column but not the row that. Why we the dollar and we are not going to put it in the 32 notice that here it is there here it is. Hoda and here it is here it is not here it is 32 32 32 the row never varies ok 32 so we are going. Put the dollar here but already in the h ok here in the h we press enter and now if we can drag and. That there is no problem and just there it starts to add up not 220 220 if I put here 30 it changes. If I put 200 billion 400 million 500 thousand 700 not 100 300 and in this way we can already apply a sum correctly to a cell. A whole row a cell and a whole column to a cell also well we go with the subtraction the. Is totally the same not very similar we are going to put we are going to bring here we are going to. 
The same we add we subtract this cell we put the minus sign and we select the next cell we press. There it is minus 5 because this is the good first data not and the minus goes to the greater sign. I put here for example 20 it will come out 0 if I put 30 it will come out 10 so there is no. The thing is that if I put 10 it will come out minus 10 here it influences the signs of the. The greater always carries the sign in this case the 20 is the negative well, this adding rows we. Going to subtract columns exactly the same we always forget the same sign we put the first, we put. And we select the second and we press enter now we have the minus 5 we are going to put here 34. To come out 10 positive so far we have no problem we are going to put here the same, we are going. Subtract all this here it is subtraction and here it is also subtraction you are going to excuse me. Are going to subtract the same this value minus this value we press enter and we drag down here it. Me to subtract column total of D and E the total is always the sum we select all this we close and. We can drag to the right and now it tells me to subtract both we subtract this minus this value. It says subtract column D this is column D and column E we press enter and we already have it here. Can also make a subtraction we are going to see what happens with all this and we are going to. The first minus the second minus the third minus the fourth we simply accept and I get the minus 90. The 200 is the positive here it is the 200 there we have the value here it tells me to add columns. Subtract the rows we are going to add the columns here as there are two we can put the plus there. Enter and we drag to the right this is very easy once you have practice and automatically all this. Add it automatically and subtract the rows we subtract this minus this minus this minus this we. Enter and here we are going to do the same as we already have all the formula we simply drag down. It does exactly the same as here but already updated the data. is practically almost the same as the sum just change the sign after that obviously we can combine. Sums and subtractions for example I'm going to do an example here. I'm going to put 100, 200 and 300 we are going to add those three values. I want you to observe we are going to add those three values we are going to multiply a number we. Going to assume that here is we are going to multiply by 10 for example we are going to put here. Statement so that you understand it better we are going to put here multiply by 10 multiply by 10. The sum of in this case of the D29 of the D29 to the F29 the 10 is basically this is the F28 here. Are going to put the F28 so that you understand everything that can be done now we have the data. Here it tells me to multiply by the F28 to the sum of the D29 to the F29 here we are going to apply.
I want you to observe here we are going to have to use parentheses as we do in a calculator here it. Multiply by 10 and we multiply it but we are going to put parentheses and we are going to add this. Plus this value plus this value. I want you to observe that we are already applying in this case parentheses we are adding so that. Order of the factors so that it has a certain order we press enter and now we have it if we put 2. We put 0 300 plus 200 500 plus 100 600 and so we can mix add, subtract, multiply, divide everything. Want let's go with the multiplications we already know it we put the asterisk which is the sign of. And we select the next cell press enter and we get the value 300 we are going to multiply the row. By the next cell we are multiplying two cells in a single column and we already have the value. I think we are repeating the same but we are practicing a little more again here we select this. By the next value we are going to select this one by this one always when you select the color. For example the D11 we have the blue selection the E11 which is the 15 we have the red mark and the is also red if we want to multiply everything and this by the next cell by the next cell by the Cell press enter and we have all the multiplication practically two against all very simple we are. To do the same we are going to put the same by the next cell by the next cell by this one by this. Press enter and we get the plus we are going to leave it there it's a big number and we are going. Download it this is the exponent if I'm not wrong 12 1.78 to exponent 12 now we do the same here if. Not wrong if we want to multiply we already know we are going to multiply this cell by the next one. Enter and we simply pull to the right so that the multiplication is applied to all the cells to all. Columns here we have the similar case to what we had done before to have fixed what would be in. Case the 100 is the E30 we are going to do the same we are going to multiply this value by this. If I drag we are going to see which one changes we drag we identify which one changes the value. Changes is the number we are going to put the dollar before the number and we drag down again and. It multiplies me correctly the same horizontally we are going to put here the same we are going to. This guy by this value press enter and drag to the right to see which one changes we are going to. 2 times click here the J31 the K31 here the L31 which is the one that varies in this case the. Not the letters we are going to put then a dollar to the letter before the letter OK we press enter. Pull all this to the right and we are going to see what happens and now if it multiplies me in A.
Way we go with the last example do not forget that all these sheets can be downloaded in the of the video so that you also practice this practically it is the same simply now it is division. We are doing it for the purpose of practicing the same this cell between now if the slash look. It is between 5 between there it is the same here equal to 200 between 4 and I want you to observe. I here for example I put 4.5 I want you to observe that here I get a number there is 4444. 4, 4, 4. You see if we go to the start tab and select our cell where all these decimals are and here there. These two options I want you to observe it says decrease decimals and increase decimals if we click. Here observe here it will decrease ok there it is or if it cannot increase we can also increase it. You can see we are going to put it in two decimals ok and there we have it more nice not the same. Do here to drag the cells equal to 100 between 15 enter and we lower all this we go down we are. To select all this to decrease decrease sorry in the decimals and now we have it even not with A. We go again here in this case we can also divide but different numbers are going to come out. We are going to grab only two rows ok there it is we are going to divide these two the same we. 500 between 600 between and we drag to the right this and we drag it ok this you already know to. We decrease it there it is with two with simple two decimals now yes with the fixed cells. We are going to put the same we are going to divide the 100 ok we are going to here it is division. Multiplication here division is and here it is also division well we are going to divide the 100. The 10 we press enter and which we must put fixed if we drag down what is going to change are the. Not here that is what changes if we drag from top to bottom from bottom to top not this is what. Then so that it does not vary this 100 we are going to put a dollar in the row at 26 the rows are. By numbers we press enter and we lower it and I want you to observe that now yes well it is not. Me to see let's see 26 if it is 26 let's see what happens here 27. If something is happening in this case if it was 26 but here ok here in the E look at us and it is. And I do not vary the D the D is this is the D and I do not change this value 10 not everything is. 10. 26 they realize the little red does not vary then what I do not want to vary is the 100 I was. That we are going to put the dollar here and here we are going to eliminate it ok now if we enter. Go down and we can already observe we cannot decrease if they like the decimals and it depends on. We are going to do the same here we are going to see what happens here we are going to give it the. And we are going to divide the 200 between all these values we select the 200 we divide between. 10 we press enter and so far everything is fine if I drag to the right it will come out 0 you can. Because it will change me in this case the column not the column H and J not because I am dragging. The right then we are going to put this value as fixed ok it is the blue color but in this case we. 
going to put the letter to the H because from here H and J here it will change we press enter and give it to the right and we can observe a result as you can see almost everything is the same only. The number this sign and some other details and not this example I leave you so that you can download. And practice this good these basic things of Excel we are not going to do a second tutorial where already teach you to do operations with functions a little more ample and we are also going to see issue of the print so that you can print your work without any without any inconvenience not if want this you can also leave some topics to touch them in the next video we are going to see we are going to see dynamic tables we are going to see a series of data okay so that you can defend in the best way in your Excel spreadsheet well friends with me it will be here and see you until time if you have any questions if you have any questions do not forget to comment on it in this video with me it will be until here and see you until next time.